And welcome back once again to Ask Coach Wendy alongside Coach Wendy Mater from T2 Coaching. I'm Dave Erickson. Today's question is, how do I line up at the start of an open water swim wave? And nowadays, at least at the WTC branded races, they have these rolling starts where you kind of seed yourself based on how long you think you'll take to do this versus the mass wave start. So the question to you, how do you start? How do you line up at the start of a swim start in open water swimming, Coach? So a lot of that, again, it depends on the race venue and it depends on the race structure, race director and how they structure the waves. Um, I'm sure there are still races out there that do everyone one mass start, men and women, all at the same time. There's the, um, the, the start by your time. So you seed yourself according to your swim time. So like, for example, in a 1.2 mile swim, if um, those 30 minute swimmers are going to seed themselves in the beginning and those hour swimmers are going to seed themselves back and everyone's just going to kind of go in single file. Um, but I think the majority of races, um, sprint Olympic half and, and some full iron distances do it by waves according to your gender and age group. So in that case, as a female, um, definitely I'm in a smaller gender ratio of, of mass swim starts. Um, myself personally, as a swimmer, I'm going to start front and center and take off because I'm a swimmer. Normally, um, the best place for someone who doesn't have quite the experience I do and they're still a little intimidated and fearful is to start on the outside and kind of move in towards the, um, the, the race course buoy. So like I like to say, someone's got to start dead center middle, but it doesn't need to be you. Um, if you're really, really new and very, very intimidated by open water swims, mass starts, start in the way back. Be the last one to go in in your wave so you can totally have clear water and clear space. But if you decide to do that, you also want to know if there's any waves behind you, they might catch up to you. So even though in the beginning you may have all this water and space, you may get run over by other swimmers. So my best advice is to practice. And expectations for those first 100 to 200, maybe 300 yards on how your technique may be different than what you have practiced in the pool? Um, that's a good point. I like to take those first 100 or 200 yards. I swim with my head out of the water because even though, I mean, I, I try to start front and center, but there are going to be swimmers that kind of get in front of me. Um, if it's like a mass, those mass Ironman starts where there's up to 2,000 people at once, there's a lot of swimmers in front of me because it's male and female. So I like to keep my head out of the water because I don't want to get kicked or hit by anyone. And I'm less likely, to, if I have my head out of the water, I'm more likely to kind of visualize and see where I'm going um, instead of having my head in the, in the water. So a little bit shorter and choppier is my stroke. And um, you're definitely going to be breathless. Even if you're trying to start off relaxed and slow, it is a race. So you're going to have a little more anxiety. And um, you want to sight a lot in the beginning. Sight frequently. It's going to help you out a lot so you don't go off course. And I know on T2Coaching.com, you have a, a section there on how to acclimate to cold water because not all swims are going to be, you know, 65, 70 degrees. You're going to have some issues when it's probably lo below 60. Exactly. That's important. The, ac the water acclimatization um, blog that I have on my site is going to just take you through a four-step process of how to get used to, you're never really going to get used to cold water, but how to acclimate to it um, to warm up to the, to the water before your wave goes off. All right. If you had a question for Coach Wendy, use the hashtag Ask Coach Wendy on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, and it might be featured on an upcoming video here. So, Coach Wendy, thanks very much. Thanks.